I'm here at UDS in Orlando, Florida, and I'm with Leanne Ogasawara. Leanne, you're the Ubuntu kernel release manager Correct. for this cycle. Mm -hmm. um, exactly what does that entail? So a lot of it is just um, making sure our team is organized, making sure we're on track for each milestone, that our work items are getting completed, and then along with um, kind of the organizational aspect of it, it's a lot of rebasing of our kernel trees, making sure we're on the latest RC release that comes out, um, handling any additional patches that we need on top of uh, the mainline kernel. You know, a lot of users aren't even aware of the kernel, and I, th and, and I think that's a testament to, to paraphrase a, a quote from Linus, um, that's just a testament to how good Linux is. Mm -hmm. that they don't have to be aware of that, and I think a lot of Ubuntu users benefit from how efficient the kernel team is and, and how you all run. One of the things that gets decided at every UDS, and this UDS for the 1204 LTS cycle is no different, you announce what kernel the next cycle is going to be based on. Um, for those who missed that session or maybe weren't listening to the IceCast, um, what kernel did you guys select? So we decided to go with the 3.2 upstream kernel. We um, took a lot of different factors into consideration. So first we just looked at the typical release cadence of the upstream kernel and we thought that the 3.2 kernel would come out around January timeframe of 2012. And then also that 3.3 could have come into play because we think it might uh, drop at the end of March, early April. Um, however, when we look at our release schedule for the Ubuntu release, uh, we're planning a kernel freeze on April 8th. So going with a 3.3 kernel would be pretty tight to kernel freeze and we want to have a, actually a longer baking period for the LTS kernel. So we actually went with the 3.2 kernel uh, for this release. Had it been a non-LTS release, we would have probably pushed for 3.3. I know some of the sessions have involved getting the community involved with like uh, the SRU process mm -hmm. for testing kernels and, and, and various aspects of, of the kernel environment where maybe community doesn't always know they can get involved. How can the community get involved with, with what you guys are doing and how can they participate uh, more actively to give you guys beneficial Right. Input? So we actually in the past um, few releases have been a lot more rigid and aggressive with our stable release updates in terms of eliminating the regressions. Um, a lot of times in the past we would pull in patches but we wouldn't get actual uh, verification of the fixes until it went out the door and we found out that even though it fixed one system it regressed another. Uh, so we've been actively trying to get a lot more testing involved and not only from the community but also from within Canonical for example. We have a QA team who is now actively running tests on every uh, kernel release that goes into proposed but also you know our QA lab doesn't have every piece of hardware out there and so we actually need the community to come in and test proposed even though if it, the fix that went in might not relate to their specific hardware, it could affect them uh, and it could affect them in a bad way. So we want to know about that. So obviously test early, test often, we can never stress that enough. And so we actually have SRU tracking bugs. Um, so people know uh, when certain kernels are making their way into proposed and where in the SRU cadence in terms of testing they are in. So we would love any additional feedback from any extra testers out there. You know, I can also say from personal experience that anytime I've had a kernel question that you or or Andy Whitcroft that's on your team or Tim Garner any of those folks um, when I've come into the IRC channel it hasn't been scary kernel people mm -hmm. and they're not going to help me it's really been very helpful to go test this and I think one another testament to the Ubuntu kernel team is that you guys are approachable by the community mm -hmm. and not all kernel teams out there and the Linux world is as approachable as you all right. are. And so um, from a user perspective, thank you for being that approachable. And how can the community find you all, other than the Ubuntu-Kernel IRC So channel? there's obviously the IRC channel on Freenode. There's also our public kernel team mailing list. And then also if you just you know, know myself or know Andy or know someone, send us a personal email if you don't know where the mailing lists are or IRC. We're glad to make sure you're pointed in the right direction. Leanne, thank you so much for taking time to talk to me here at UDS for the 1204 release cycle. Um, appreciate it and looking forward to 1204 and beyond. Thank you. Great, thank you.